Be testing. All right. Sorry, OBS does not play well with many things. So a lot of times things will break on with OBS if something gets unplugged or replugged in or audio sources gets changed at all. OBS is ridiculous. Okay. So for a quick game, um, remove four cards from each season. Make sure you remove the King of Diamonds in the summer as one of the four cards, and make sure you keep the Frost Shepherds in winter. Remove King of Diamonds? Yeah, because that one in the summer makes uh, Summer Fleeting, in which you discard two cards and take two actions. Mm -hmm. okay. So you don't want to do that. Alright, so was it two cards from each pile or four cards? I forgot. Uh, four cards. It makes this fast. So were you at uh, the Staples Center, Tim? Yeah, it was. It was really cool. Was it? I think Calvin was saying it was pretty meh. Yeah, it was like the 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 idea was cool and like the amount of people was cool, but like I felt it, it didn't feel the hype was there. And I, I was actually really excited for it. Like I don't play a lot of league or watch, but I was excited to be there and watch it. And it seemed like everyone else was kind of like ho hum about it. Um, but I kind of got that vibe from watching the stream as well. Yeah, which was really sad because I I would would have loved everyone to be pumped up because it was like a really big deal, and I was excited because it was SK Telecom from Brood War. I thought they were, I I thought they were gonna win three zero. I was really excited when they were winning three zero. Dude, yeah, SK was. There was no way they were going to lose. <laughs> was it actually okay. StarCraft players that had switched to LOL? No, it was. It's just no, the same no. team. Oh, okay. It's just the well. same sponsors and stuff. I think there are a couple like ex Brood War pros that. Coach. Yeah, I think, I think yellow or reach or someone. Okay. Actually, both of them, both of them, coach. So we start in spring, then go to summer, then go to autumn, then go to winter. Yes. All right, sounds good. Okay, now let me set up. Tim, what's the program that we use to draw on in public? Oh, together. You weren't just gonna draw yourself. Okay, hold on. No, no, yeah, no. Actually, let me. We can just do it with roll twenty. That's legit. Just do it with roll twenty. Yeah, Roll20 is super legit. It's designed for that. Yeah, that's true. Very true. You never know when we might have to roll for something. Um, let me find that part around. <sighs> okay, so... Oh, Kiwi, you're gold too. Sweet. Yeah, I, I only, um, I only played to gold just to get because they each year they do like the skin thing. Yeah, the things. championship skin. Yeah, oh, hold on, like... hold on. Uh, Neil, here it is. Twidla or whatever. Okay. I, this might be better because we can type things in. Like roll twenty, I was experimenting. It's harder to erase stuff and things like that. Okay. So do we start. click the link or is it just? Everyone click the link. Okay. Um, hold on, let me let me get these assets to you. I actually don't know where my quiet your stuff is. No, it's fine. I'll I'll just make something up. No, it's gonna uh, have to be good. Hold on. Oh god, we have to draw. Wait, why is my name not? No, it's just the Z. Uh, that works. Where did I put my quiet your assets? What the fuck? Oh, here we go. No. God, I have the map from last game. It was amazing. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Uh. <sighs> I want to be dark green, so don't take dark green. No, dark green's mine. You can't use it. Ah, oh, Neil. Why do you do this? I'll go like a tealish color then. Change colors and shit? What the fuck is There we go. I am teal. Oh, I know where they are. Here we go. Here, Neil. I'll send it to you over Skype. Kind of food brown sort of thing. Boom. What is Etherpad? <laughs> okay. Uh, global source clock. So here, add global source. How do I change my name? Bar. 
You can't, you're the Z, and I'm fuck Gilbert. <laughs> God damn it. So much value from that name. So I want to ask the chat what our theme should be if we're like in space or whatever. I want to ask the chat this question if you had one bullet and a gun and you had to shoot either a Twilight fan or <laughs> or someone who always says a better love story than Twilight joke every I week who would you shoot? <laughs> they would I shoot me. <laughs> what's, what's the second? It's not always about you, Gilbert. I don't understand the second option. What, like I'm saying people end. who always say it's a better love story than Twilight person are obnoxious, and I would probably shoot that guy nah, over the I'd Twilight, the Twilight fan. fan because fuck Twilight. <laughs> Wait, what? What's a better love story than Twilight? That's the thing. Um, it's a joke. Like if something stupid happens, they say it's still a better love story than Twilight. As if to yeah, say that like Twilight is the worst love story ever written. Like, even a picture of a dog taking a poop is a better love story than Quiet Twilight. Oh, okay. I'm with, I've like never a, heard that before. Okay. You never heard that, like, meme thing? Yeah. No. Well, there's, like, four people who would shoot me, including Kaney, because, you know, fuck that guy. You know, <laughs> it's not always about you, Gilbert. No, Kaney said he would shoot me. It's can't not it, always can't about it be. you. Can it be? I mean, if you look, if you look at the names on what the fuck is this thing? Twiddle, Twiddler. I don't, I don't even know. Twiddler. If, I'm if not even Gilbert. If you look at the names, there's Shindigs, the Z, Koibu, and fuck Gilbert. So apparently, <laughs> apparently it is always about Gilbert. You know, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I was wearing this white V-neck T-shirt, and then I said something, and I non-ironically ended the sentence in bro. And I realized I became Scott in that moment. Oh, you become Scott. <laughs> Speaking of Scott, bro, our total for tonight is still at 642. And we are 642, um, which actually means we, we need, we've done two calls with chat, right? We've done three calls with chat. Yeah, you've done three, I think. We've done three. That means we need three more calls with chat. And then at the next marker, which is 750, we do something. I don't remember. What is what is the something that we do? You read this. You read slash fiction. I so read slash so. fiction. Yes, the, the oh, fan gosh. slash fiction. I have some good ones to recommend. That, that's at 750. So we're we're still a little ways away, guys. Slash fiction is great. Okay, so we need to draw a map. We need to set our our scarcities and our resources. Our okay, Neil, abundances. Can you draw the 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 border in which we can draw in? So right. we're, like, we're drawing Pin Island right now. Is that correct? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> can, you draw with, can you draw, like, a, a frame in which we have to constrain our drawings Yeah, in? that's what I'm doing. I'm just wondering, like, do we just come up with this stuff? Like, can it be anything? Like... Just, we'll, you'll see as we go along. Okay. Oops. Because I watched your guys' like, space adventure thing. And it was confusing. <sighs> So, I mean, we're, we're not going to be fucked over by not having played this before. It's easy enough to pick up, right? Yeah, Tim and I taught it ourselves how to play it. Sweet. Okay. Alright, that's okay. good. Just go with the flow. Yeah. So, I have a really sick startup idea. Um, so, my startup is going to cut off your finger and replace it with a USB thumb drive. Sweet. I called it fingerly. You know what? Ready? Just right. replace it with a USB port. That way you could put different things on it. And have the USB port be powered by your internal heat. So that way you could have like a thumb drive there. Or you could, you know, do all sorts no, that, of... You could have like a little flashlight. You could, chat, chat you could have like a USB water. vibrator. I mean, come on. They're, the limits are endless. That's true. Is there a way to zoom out? Neil, you're, you can be my CTO. 
I will be your CTO. But I am the CEO. Okay, I'm going to register Fingerly right now. Fingerly.io. Ninja Daddy. Squirrel, I'm so sorry to see you go. Your name is the easiest to pronounce out of everyone's, and I love it. Fingerly.io is not available for registration. Okay. Hold on. We need to... Guys, we need to... How many abundances and how many scarcities do we have, Tim? No idea. You're not Tim. Um, how many abundances? So, uh, one abundance and I think two scarcities. And we have to draw them on the map. Well, first, let's draw the map. <clears throat> let's, let's draw our I map. I think Kiwi should draw the map. No, we yeah. all draw the map. Okay, so where where are we having this take place? Um, so it's a post-apocalyptic world to define a setting for us. Just just anywhere, like anything. Yeah. it's a <laughs> post-apocalyptic setting. What sort of setting do you want to be in in a post-apocalyptic world? Like a volcano in Fiji. <laughs> you want us to be in a volcano. We, we well, do in, in and around a volcano, it's a coral atoll, so it's a volcanic island that's slightly tropical, but it's got a mountain in the middle. All right, you. And why don't you draw the island? Why don't you draw this, Kiwi? Yeah, the, the thing is, I suck at drawing. Don't worry about it. I am a terrible doodler as well. Am I drawing it like? Hey, just there's within a, there's the green tool. box somewhere. Use the use the shape tool. You can use the shape tool. Just do How am I want. drawing it? Like top down? Or yeah, like yeah, top down. Like as if you're using Google Maps. It's just gonna look like a fried egg. That's so fine. Okay. Just draw it, dude. <laughs> gonna go. Gonna run it up down here. We got some shit there. Gonna have a nice jutting off bit there. This is hopefully not gonna look like a penis. You hopefully. mean hopefully it's going to look like one? And oh no, it doesn't look too bad. Over here, we're gonna kind of have what's sort of gonna be a volcano, not a butthole, not a butthole. <laughs> That's a volcano. Oh, there we go. I can give me some red shit in there because it's a okay. How do I like? I don't understand. Am I drawing like all of this? Uh, well, so you've bought, you've drawn a volcano on an island. Um, who who did the race mark? There we go. Uh, what is there anything else you wanted that we want to do? I want to. I feel like there should be trees and maybe a lake and a stream, maybe a river or two on the island. Okay, let me draw the river. Really quick, Neil, how do you scroll left and right? I don't know. There's no little scroll bar. Um, is this an active volcano or a dormant volcano? Judging by judging by the red shit, I, I'm going to imagine it's active, yeah. Okay. So then we're going to have a river that here. comes from a hot spring on the side of the volcano that leads into the lake. What is that thing in the ocean? Uh -huh. Is that just water? Yeah, it's just water. Okay. So we only have one island? There's yeah, you know, like... we got one island. Oh, damn it. What is our abundance on this island? Coconuts. Definitely Do you, do you guys want to do coconuts? We're doing coconuts. That sounds reasonable. I was going to say yes. giant, giant carved heads that they have. <laughs> what, what is our scarcity? We, we need two scarcity. Talent? 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 Talent's great. <laughs> we are lacking talent, and what else? And creativity. Um. <laughs> Let's not lack creativity. Let's make the game fun. <laughs> what about... Um, sanity? Talent? Sanity? Yes, sanity. Sanity. <laughs> that sounds like it. Excellent. We are lacking talent and sanity. One, one could say we lack sleep, but that works too. No, no, no. Sweet. So, for everyone that's new to this, this is what the Quiet Year is. It's a map-making game. It will take place over the course of a year. We It's supposed to be 52 weeks, but we're playing with short versions, so we're taking out 8 weeks from the year. I'm sorry, um, 16 weeks from the year. I will draw these cards, 
and each card will tell us something that happens, and then it'll be a, a prompt, and then we will create the, the story that goes along with that prompt. Um, and then when we get to some point at the end, it's not necessarily the last card, but one of the last cards is going to be the end of the game. It's the Frost Shepherds show up. The Frost Shepherds are kind of like... Um, they, they can be whatever you want. They're not actually a specific thing. They're, they're, not, they're just meant to represent the end of the game. And the game ends. So... So let's do is this. It, um, is it collaborative or is it competitive? Collaborative. Okay. Oh, it's collaborative. So we're here. Yeah, to we're working together, ish, ish. Okay. So um, what? After we read the card, you decide which one of the two options it, we will go with, and then you can either decide to start a project, hold a discussion, or discover something new. If you hold the discussion, you can pose a question. And then each person in turn can say one to two sentences about it, and then you can finish it up with your one to two sentences. Or you can start by saying one to two sentences, and then other people will reply to it. Uh, but each person only gets one to two sentences to say something, and not, it doesn't really resolve any action. Like, if you all agree on something, you still don't do it. Someone has to start a project to do that sort of thing. Um, other than that, I think, Tim, is there anything else that we, they need to know? Um, I don't think you covered everything in case we uh, forget something, I'll let you know. All right, cool. So we're going to start with uh, Kiwi. We're going to go Kiwi, um, Tim, Gilbert, Neil. That's our order of operations here. Ready? Can you repeat that? So. We're going yeah. Kiwi, uh, Tim, Gilbert, Neil. Is the okay. order. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Sounds so, fine. Kiwi. The One of these two options happens. You have to decide which one. A charismatic young girl convinces many to help her with an elaborate scheme. What is it? Who joins her endeavors? Start a project to reflect. Or, a charismatic young girl tries to tempt many into sinful or dangerous activity. Why does she do this? How does the community respond? Oh, so... I'm obviously going to choose option number two. So what do I what do I have to do from here? Well, you, you have to tell us tell, tell a story about who this charismatic young girl is. What does she do? What is her sinful or dangerous activity? And how does the community respond? And also draw it on the map. So what was our our abundance was coconuts. Yes, which coconuts, I'm about to yes. go draw. So um, this nubile young girl is uh, washed up ashore on our island one day and all she's wearing is um, a coconut bikini and she says to us oh help me help me help me I want to start a business making coconut bikinis if you could help me I would be ever so grateful okay how's that a sinful or dangerous activity because she's only wearing a coconut bikini <laughs> And she would be ever so grateful. Okay. <laughs> uh, how does the community did, respond? Did I mention the coconuts were harvested from the top of the volcano? No, you did that's not. that's kind of important. Okay. How does the community respond and why does she do this? The community responds with... Um, a kind of creepy over-eagerness to uh, help this only female that is on the island. And to help her achieve this, we actually construct a... Um, I can't think of the word, but uh, the throne, it's a palanquin or something, yeah. that you use to carry someone, and we're going to construct one of those and use it to transport her up to the top of the volcano so she can pick out the ideal coconuts that are nice and firm and ripe and uh, coconuts. <laughs> okay. Now That's you can start an activity, uh, I'm sorry, start a project, which will take one to six weeks to finish your call. Um, you can discover something new or you can hold a discussion. So those are my three options? Those are your three options, yeah. Well, I yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start building this um, palanquin for her to ride atop of. How many okay. weeks will it take? You know, I I don't want to kind of shortchange her. I'm gonna say three. 
three weeks to build a palanquin. It's going to be a really nice one. Oh, God, Kiwi. I don't remember, don't know how to spell palanquin, so I'm just going to leave it as that. I'm happy I remember the word, to be honest. Okay. Uh, Tim, it is your turn. An odd piece of machinery is discovered broken, but perhaps repairable. What is it? What would it be useful for? Or an old piece of machinery is discovered cursed and dangerous. How does the community destroy it? We find... Um... We find a old, we find a computer terminal um, at the base of the volcano and a little small holdout hut at the base of the volcano. And it's very old, uh, it has like a green LED glow and it runs on command line stuff. And you have to type in commands and stuff to, to do it. And it's somehow powered by something. And we're going to try to use it to communicate with other people. Um, somehow. So is this the cursed and dangerous or bo broken but perhaps repairable? Broken but perhaps repairable. Okay. So we know it's powered by something, but we don't. And we're not sure if it's connected to anything. Um, for my action, I want to hold a discussion about whether we should be building a thing for the... No, you know what? Here's a better discussion. After we build the palanquin for the girl, I think we should throw her in the volcano. I agree wholeheartedly, and I'm glad that you're on the same page. Fuck you all. Bikinis <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> I'll have to side with Neil. I like the bikini idea. Okay. Gilbert, it is your turn. Right. What community? What group has the highest status in the community? What must people do to gain inclusion in the group? Or are there different? Are there distinct family units in the community? If so, what family structures are common? All right. So I'm gonna do the first one. So there's a society called the Gilbertians, and they live over here in their own house. There's multiple houses. There's actually three houses, and I can't draw, but. Um, so what do they have to do to get into the society? They basically have to praise the Lord Gilbert. <laughs> and they are admitted, and they can live in these nice houses. They're like elaborate houses, like two stories tall, with like nice furniture, and there's pools, and it's really nice. <laughs> and then, um, what are my three options again? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, you can hold a discussion, start a project, or uh, discover something new. I'm going to discover something new, and we're going to discover how to make the houses even better. What like, is look for innovations. What is oh, it wait, 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 I got this, I got this. Oh, what? Oh, I just like, did the wrong thing. I want we're going to look this. for good, um, we're going to try to get better um, sewage because apparently there's shit nearby. <laughs> oh yeah, sewage was going to be the plan. I thought there was coffee. Oh. Yeah. I wanted so to put shits on top of all the houses. <laughs> so wait, what is the thing you're discovering, Gilbert? We're going to discover better, like, like, sewage. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Better, okay. like, piping for sewage. Okay. Because there's apparently shit nearby. Okay. So you discover some way to deal with the sewage, the, the sewage problem. Yes. Okay, my turn. Elements of Kiwi. There's a disquieting legend about this place. What is it? Or alarming weather patterns destroy something. How and what? Well, I'm going to say alarming weather patterns come through and destroy the Gilbertian village. Um, <laughs> there's a hurricane. It comes to shore. Strong winds sweep all of the poop back into the houses and into the town. Everyone that lived in Gil Gilbert Land is covered in shit. And their houses are now smeared with the very things that were leaving through the drainage pipe that was recently discovered. Um, so, 
I don't know how we're gonna have to just delete all the stuff you just drew, Kiwi. Sorry. No, we can just put an X through it or something, or leave some some there. Okay, we'll I leave feel some like there. the houses would kind of already smear and shit with my ideas. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, we'll leave we'll leave some there. Goodness. Um, and I would like to. Yes, praise the Lord, Neil. Exactly. Um, I would like. To... Oh, uh, the palanquin finishes at the end of my turn right now. Um, I would like to. Um, start a project to start. No, we we already have a coconut girl doing her thing. Um, yeah, we do. I would like to hold a discussion about how, if we want to allow the Gilbertians back into normal society since they've been acting all high and mighty the whole time. That, uh, so that's the question. Should we bring them back in? Um, yeah, you should. They act like their shit don't stick. Fuck them. Tim? Um... I think we should throw them on the volcano. <laughs> Gilbert? I think you shouldn't throw them in the volcano. <laughs> so to make this happen... Wait, hold on, hold to... on. I, I, get, I get to weigh in on the discussion. Hold yeah. on. Um, I think the... I think the answer may not lie necessarily within the volcano, but... I definitely think they cannot be rehabilitated and they must be exiled. Um, so then on your turn, you can start a project to do such a thing or whatever. But th oh, these okay, discussions so don't actually do anything. They just they oh, okay, allow right. us to talk because we're not allowed to talk about anything outside of discussions. Oh, so uh, you have okay. to shut up when it's like not your turn and not a discussion. It's, it's supposed to be, yeah. Oh, okay. Hence the quiet year. The quiet year, yeah. All right, okay. your turn, Kiwi. What's the most beautiful thing in this area, or what's the most hideous thing in this area? I'm so torn. <laughs> those, those wretched Gilbertians are the most hideous thing in the area. They must be vanquished. <laughs> okay, do you want to start a project? Oh, actually, hold on. At the end of my last turn, the palanquin for the girl finished. Um, okay. Just as a heads up. So do you want to start a project? Um, do uh, Hold the discussion or discover something new? Um, I suppose I'll start a project. And I have to come up with what that project is, I suppose. You do. do how specific does it have to be? Can I be vague and be like, my project is an endeavor to annihilate the Gilbertians. Be more specific than that. How, how would you do? I mean, you it's a role-playing game, so be as okay, specific my, as you want to be. My project is an endeavor to bring the girl to the top of the volcano and with her attractive coconut bikinis, lure the Gilbertians up to the volcano and get them all to fall into the volcano. Falling for the girl. That's my project. Quite literally. <clears throat> okay, how many weeks is that going to take? I feel like that's a that's a long one. I'm going to go with... I'll go four. Okay. Done. Gilbert. I'm sorry, Shindigs. <clears throat> Okay. You see a good omen, what is it? Or you see a bad omen, what is it? Um, I... Hmm. We see a good omen in which um, the fish harvest is plentiful. So a lot of fish 
are just at the shore for us to, to get and eat and kill. Good. And so what's going on with the Gilbertians right now? We're going to throw them in the, uh, the volcano? In three weeks. Okay. In three weeks. Um... Kenny, I don't think he's reading chat. No, I just turned on chat. What's up? Alright, uh... So... We're going to discover something new, is... That the Gilbertians have... Now covered in shit and lost their religion and their households and lifestyles. Um... Have been... Harassing our current villagers covered in shit, well, covered in shit. And they no longer refer to themselves as the Gilbertians. They call themselves the shit lords. But, but I, I want to emphasize something. I can't be very loud right now, but I want you to imagine that when they refer to themselves as the shit lords, they are yelling shit lords at the shit top lords. of the Yes, exactly like that. So yes, bow to your shit lords. So like, when when they come and like rob a house, and they get caught in the act, they they just look at you and they say bow to your shit lords. So they're becoming a very big nuisance in in the village, and they're stealing our goat. This is what happens when you name a clan of people after yourself. <laughs> Had to try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gilbert, it is your turn. Yes, it is. Are there children in the community? If there are, what is their role in the community? Or, how old <laughs> are the eldest members of the community? What special needs do they have? Alright, I'll do the thing about the young children. So, there's lots of young children. There, that We have, like, we're like borderline overpopulated with young children and basically they're like our labor force and they do all the work for us so we can lounge around all day and uh yeah <laughs> okay do you want to start a project to suffer something new or um hold a discussion um I'd like to start a project to... No, no, actually I'll discover something new and I want to discover whips. <laughs> you discover whips? Whips. Make okay. the children work faster. We now have an abundance of whips. <laughs> okay, my turn. I'm a so glad I had a drink or two before this. <laughs> a young boy starts digging in the ground, discovers something unexpected. What is it? Or an old man confesses to past crimes and atrocities. What has he done? Oh, goodness. Um, let's see. I'm going to say <clears throat> one of our, our slave boys digging in the ground um, discovers... What did he discover? He what discovers he discover? a a stack of books. However, he is too young to read, and it will take a week. It'll take two weeks for the books to. No, it'll take six weeks for the books to be read in, in their entirety because <laughs> there's a lot of books. So all the adults start reading. Oh man. Um. Come on. Don't be this way, baby. Baby, please. Oh, come on. This text box is not playing nicely. Okay, there, done. <coughs> um, so it'll take six weeks to read the books. And I want to... discover something new. No, no, I wanted to start a new... We lack sanity. Scar sanity is one of our scarcities, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I would say so. We have child labor. So I want to hold. I want to start a new project. Um, the new project I want to start 
is going to take th three weeks and we are going to create a it is going to be a a um what what's something ridiculous what is a lack what is what a lack of sanity bring you it brings you an insanity we're going to I mean hold an election the most important election we've had yet. Um, since we've come to this island, we've kind of just been an chaotic and anarchy. So we're going to hold an election for the chief officer. And this chief officer's primary duties will be child inspection. So we are holding an election to see who is the child inspector. And the child inspector will be our ruler. Hmm. Okay, sounds reasonable. <clears throat> No, it doesn't. I like it. No, it's totally, totally reasonable. It makes sense. We have whips and child labor. And insanity, so it makes perfect sense. Okay. Um, at the end of my turn, it becomes Kiwi's turn, and the Gilbertonians get thrown into the volcano. How does that resolve? You have to resolve that. Uh, the, actually, it happens at the end of your turn, at the very end of your turn, I'm sorry. So at the okay. start of your turn, there's a large body of water on the map. What is it? What does it look like? Or there's a giant man-made structure on the map. Where is it? Why is it abandoned? Uh, the giant man-made structure that's on the map is actually um, a bunch of mass graves near the top of the volcano to signify the upcoming tragedy. And by tragedy, I mean awesomeness. Because fuck the Gilbertians. Okay. They're um, the shit lords. Start oh, the shit lords as well. A, start a project, hold a discussion, discover something new. Uh, hold a discussion. And I have to give a topic. Yep, or ask a question. Um... What do we do with the shitlord's now vacant land? No, if they what? Uh, what do we do with the shitlord's now vacant land? Mm. <clears throat> it's covered in shit. We should leave it. We should clean it up and use it for farmland. We should burn, we should just torch it, make sure all remnants of the shitlords are purged from this earth. Jeez. Okay. Um, and the shitlords get thrown into the volcano. Kiwi, would you please describe how that happens? <clears throat> uh, it happens quickly and without remorse, but the uh, women and children are thrown in first. Uh, one by one, and they are made to push their uh, their own family in. It's pretty brutal. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad now. <laughs> okay. It's okay, they, they smell. <laughs> Next turn. <laughs> we have now entered summer. Summer is a time for production and tending to the earth. Start a project related to food production, or... Summer is a time for conquest and gathering of might. Start a project to relate, related to military readiness and conquest. This is for Tim. Okay. Um, I think we'd use, use um, some farmland. So, um, you know, we have a lot of abundance of coconut, but what our, vil our village is really lacking is... Um, Hmm, what can we grow? What can we grow? Our village is really lacking maize. Now, I, some people may think I'm referring to corn, but really, I mean maize. Corn mazes? No, like maize. 
Like, we will refer to it as maze. Oh, it's just a... I, I was hoping you actually meant we had a lack of hedge mazes. <laughs> so, so, In so. fact. <clears throat> okay. So now we're, we're going we're gonna to start growing some maize in, in this place. Um, I guess this is a project. Yeah. Uh, I'll, can I just write it in? Um, let's say it takes like three weeks. Was it M A I Z E? <clears throat> M A I Z E, yes. Oh. Cool. To build me. <laughs> Sweet. And um, what is your other op- Your other actions? Oh, um. <sighs> hmm. I want to. Um, I want to start a project and start decoding what's trying to break into the computer and figure out what's up with that because we've been slacking on that. So that'll take about um, two weeks to uh, screw around with the computer. Okay. Are you typing that or am I typing it? I got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gilbert's turn. Second week of summer. Outsiders arrive in the area. <clears throat> Why are they a threat? How are they vulnerable? Or, outsiders arrive in the area. How many? How are they greeted? Alright, so these outsiders show up and they're like, they're wearing like night armor, right? Like very shiny. It's all, it's like all, we're all like astonished, like, whoa, it's shiny. And um, they're greeted like, they're praising them basically they're like you have shiny armor like they don't even realize it's armor actually they just think they're people that are shining Mm -hmm. so they're you know basically seen as religious deities of sorts and there's um about 17 of them okay cool so and would you like to start a project hold a discussion or discover something new i'd like to hold a project um i want to work on figuring out the origins of these armored guys that showed up. Okay, so what is that? How does that work? Um, Uh, So how many weeks will it take? um, It'll take... It'll take only one week because they they have the same language, so... They can speak our language. Okay. We'll just ask them and they'll tell us. Cool. Uh, And at the end of your turn here... Um, we hold our election for the child inspectors, um, and due to our lack of sanity, we we appoint one the one and only surviving shitlord as child inspector. <laughs> I don't know how it happens, but you know, crazy things happen, man. And now our shitlord is child inspector. So. <laughs> I'm going to doodle a shitlord who is whipping the children in the fields. Go for it. There we go. Sweet. Um, My turn. Introduce a mystery at the edge of the map, or an unattended situation becomes problematic and scary. What is it? How does it go away? I'm going to introduce a mystery at the edge of the map. Um, We see off the edge of the map that there is an island that is slowly getting closer to us. No one knows what it is, but it is getting closer to us, and it is drifting this way. Someone drawing it? I can't even uh, yeah, I'm drawing it. There we go. That is the island off the edge of the map that is drifting towards us ever so slowly. Um, and we're going to 
discover something new. Um, we discover that during the the summer, the lake actually drains out into the ocean. It completes the rest of a journey. Um, only wasn't doing it when we got here, and wasn't doing it doing it during the spring. But now during the summer, the the li the lake flows into the ocean. Who who drew face and teeth? No. <laughs> Bad Gilbert. No, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it was Kiwi. <laughs> I'm not that good. It's at not always about you, Gilbert. Gilbert. It wasn't me. All right. Uh, we discover Tim. Your computer thing finishes. Yeah. Um, as the computer finishes, we find a number of programs on the computer. One such program seems to be running active right now and it's called okay I don't, I don't want to give it a program name but it's a program that seems to be signaling what appears to be other land masses in the area and pinging their location to our location um, and most of them the numbers, the coordinates on the other islands are stationary, except for the one that's moving towards us um, slowly. Okay. And um, we discover where the people came from. Gilbert, would you explain that? Okay. So we discovered that they came from this sick. island that's... Whoa. Okay, we calm down. So we discovered that they're c they came from the island that's, like, floating towards us, and that... Um, they mean us no harm, but they, um, we notice that they have really sharp objects. And they're looking at us in a very mean way. Okay. Like, they want to kill us. Okay. Kiwi, it is your turn. Okay. Someone new arrives. Who, why are they in distress? Or someone leaves the community. Who, what are they looking for? Uh, the coconut bikini clad girl leaves the community because uh, she sees that the people on the other island are um, actually far more worthy of uh, her time and that she wants to go over there and party with them because they have mojitos. <laughs> okay. So, do you want to start a project, hold a discussion, or discover something new? I want to start a project to wage war on the... Um, on the approaching island. Okay. How long is the project going to take? It takes six weeks. we got to be prepared for this war. Cool. Uh, Tim, your maze finishes. Cool. Okay. Now we have an abundance of corn that Thanks our bros <clears throat> can eat. Uh, okay. And yeah, so I mean that finishes, and we now have a really good, so you know, just just a lot of maze, cool. maze to chill out with. All right, your turn, sir. One project finishes early. Which one and why? If there are no projects underway, boredom leads to quarrel. A fight breaks out between people. What's about? Um, which project finishes early? Is that me? Yeah, it's you still. Uh, okay, oh, uh, I guess the six weeks to wage war on the other island because we just, now that our uh, our maze is done, we can focus on our child labor on uh, making, you know, making, making stuff happen. So now we are waging war or in the process of, or actually someone, it's not my project, so someone has to explain okay. what happens. Kiwi? The war starts. So we actually um, discover a rare type of giant coconut on our island that we use as boats, and we enlist the help of the shiny armored men to help wage war on the approaching island and get our one female back. Got it. Okay. And does that? How does it resolve? Wow, I, I have to say how it resolved. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess unless the war is still going on, then. 
Oh, it, it's an it's an ongoing thing. Okay, it's an ongoing thing. Okay. Um, Tim, do you want to start a project? Oh. Discover something new? What? Um, let's see. I want to. Uh, there we go. I want to. Start a project in which we experiment with throwing different types of people into the volcano, seeing what kind of benefits it could possibly give to the village. And we're going to do this over the course of two weeks, just throwing different types of people and things into the volcano and seeing what happens. Okay. And um, we finished reading the books this week. Um, this week the books finished being read, and we discover that this cache of books is actually a, um, a set of prophecies and warnings that date back for a thousand years. God knows why they're buried on this island. Uh, and there's only one prophecy that is for the future, and it says... The frost shepherds must arrive, or no, but when the frost shepherds must arrive, the coconut, no, 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 um, no children must be alive when the frost shepherds arrive, or we are all doomed. <coughs> That's what the prophecy. That's what the one prophecy says. That's remaining. Um, and it is the next turn. Um, Gilbert, it is your turn. A contingent within the community demand to be heard. Who are they? What are they asking for? Or a contingent within the community have acted on their frustration. Frustrations. What have they damaged, and why did they damage it? Is it permanent? Okay. So the children are frustrated because they actually. At this point, they over. They, there's more children than adults, so they're frustrated with all the work and labor they have to do. So they get really mad, and they start rioting, and they they destroy all the whips. So we lose our abundancy of whips, and they. So yeah, it's permanent because we lose the whips, and then they're like rioting and trying to take over the town and throw all the adults in the volcano. Okay, uh, pick a do your project or discovery or <clears throat> discussion. All right, we're gonna have a project, and the project's going to be um ah oh, shoot. So the project could be anything, right? So I guess the project would be how the children like are gonna get the adults up there since they're not like physically like, strong. I guess like they're gonna figure out like I don't know. You know what? I won't do a project. I'll just do a discussion then. Screw it. So, um, <laughs> the children are revolting. What? <laughs> how do you? Uh, what do you think of this? Well, they've always been revolting. Now they're rebelling. Touche. Is it me now? Sure. And yeah, sure. The volcano god will honor us with the children as a sacrifice. <laughs> Oh, um, about, sorry, can you repeat the prompt, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's about the children revolting against the adults. Um, what should we do about the children revolting against us? We should... I think we should ask the volcano god to purge them, purge the unclean children from us, and, and, and give birth to more healthy children who are ready to work. <laughs> Sorry, that's just funny. Um, so what? That's it, right? 
Yeah. That was the discussion. Okay, that's the yeah. discussion. Um, I already ticked that down. Uh, my turn. The eldest among you dies. What caused their death? Or the eldest among you is very sick. Caring for them in searching for a cure requires the help of the entire community. Do not reduce Project Dice this week. Fuck that. Our community do- would not help for the old people. The eldest among us dies. What caused their deaths? The, re- the rebelling children actually managed to push old man wizard into the volcano old man wizard is now dead and this only frustrates us more with the uh the children problem i would like to propose a project to spank all of the children into submission because that's what you do when children are being ridiculous you whap them on the butts it's going to take a full two weeks to spank all the children Um, and also, one week to throw the people in the volcano. Who are we throwing in the volcano now? No, it was an experiment to throw random people oh, in the right. volcano. So that, that, that finishes. So, we were throwing t- various types of people into the volcano. Um, and we found that the uglier that they were, the happier the village got. So I think we're going to keep throwing <laughs> ugly people into the volcano <laughs> because it really boosts village morale. And we're not sure what effects this is. Like maybe throwing ugly people in the volcano releases happy pheromones from the volcano, making everyone happier. But everyone just feels a lot better after we throw just, you know, people who are just not born attractive into the volcano. <sighs> So, people who may be new to this game, our community has a scarcity of sanity, which is um, partially explaining what's going on here. <laughs> okay. And talent. Uh, we're also lacking talent. We're not very good we're at anything. <laughs> um, Kiwi, it is your turn. Predators and bad omens are afoot. You are careless and someone goes missing under ominous circumstances. Who? Or... Predators and bad omens are afoot. What measures do you take to keep everyone safe and under surveillance? Do not reduce project dice this week. Hmm. Okay. Someone goes missing. It is the shitlord child inspector. (laughs) He has been taken um, by mysterious forces, not not from the other island, but there are tracks leading up to the top of the volcano, and back like, down from the top of the volcano, and back up again. Hmm. Could you repeat that again? So, yeah. there, the, the shitlord child inspector goes missing, mm-hmm. and because we were waging war with the other island, we know it wasn't them that took him but there are tracks leading down from the top of the volcano and back up. Interesting. All right, what would you like to do? Start a project, hold a discussion, or discover something new? Uh, Hold a discussion. Do it. We are faced with many problems on which should we focus our concern. I think getting Bikini Woman back is the most important thing that we have. Forget about the children, forget about everything else. Bikini Woman comes first. Gotta love them coconuts. Um, if... You know, if Bikini Woman comes back, but she's selling bikinis to ugly people, that's not going to be good. So we need to focus on... Throwing the ugly, more ugly people into the volcano before we bring Bikini Girl back and everyone's in bikinis because the last thing we need is someone who shouldn't be wearing a coconut bikini wearing one. What we should really focus on is the 17 armored warriors and asking for them to help in the war so we can win the war. Kiwi? I think we should purge the ugly people. 
<laughs> okay. Um, Tim. <clears throat> Wait. Yes. Yeah. Um, you discover a cache of supplies or resources at a new abundance, or a scarcity has gone unaddressed for far too long. Start a project that will alleviate the scarcity. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> I know what you so, should do. I know what you should do. <laughs> so we've obviously had a lack of sanity. Damn it. But, <laughs> but we haven't really talked about our talent. Yes. Our lack of talent. <laughs> this, is, this is what I was hoping you'd do. Keep going. <laughs> so we're going to put on a talent show. <laughs> <laughs> And we have two weeks to 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 get the talent show together, and we're gonna have it in the middle of the village, and we're gonna make sure we bring talent back to everybody. <laughs> the end. Two weeks for a talent show. Two weeks for the talent show. Two weeks for the talent. Okay, uh, this week we spank all the children. That gets them in line. They know their place. They go back to the fields, and we continue to work them. <laughs> Child <laughs> revolt solved. Um, we are at the, the halfway point in this game because the next card is actually Autumn. So we're going to take a short break uh, while I get something to drink, and we're going to run like a quick commercial. Uh, after we're done with Quiet Year, we're going to do something else. All right? So, quick All break, right. three minutes for commercials, blah, 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 blah. See you guys shortly. And, oh, we will do a roll call when we're done with Quiet Year. Oh shit. Uh, salty bat t shirts.
Oh man, quiet year is so hard to do at 5 a.m. because it's like quiet and slow moving and it makes you tired. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's only 5 a.m. for you? Like, how 5 30. It's 8 30 over here. Yeah, oh. I mean, 5 30 is not that bad. I mean, it's fine. My voice makes you tired. Maybe you should give up, go to sleep. Did Gilbert draw another face? That bastard. What the hell, Gilbert? Why do you keep drawing faces, Gilbert? Right. I mean, it wasn't even well drawn this time. Seriously. Well, it wasn't well drawn? What? You're the face that you drew on the other island. It's twice. Stop drawing faces. No, that Food wasn't strikes. me! Food strikes, Gilbert. Damn it, Kiwi. Stop framing me. Hello, Uber Arctic Uno. Uber Arctic Uno. I don't. It's a Pokemon. It's, oh. Yeah, it's, it's a. Okay. Why can't people just get names that are easier to pronounce that make sense? Well, Arctic Uno is very simple. Well, if he if he'd capitalized it, then it would have. Um... Like bad pants, bad pants. That's that's pretty straightforward, you know. You can appreciate a bad pants name. I mean, is Zombie Gilbert too hard for you, Neil? No, Zombie Gilbert's easy. <laughs> 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 uh, who the hell did that? Shindigs, did you make that? No, <laughs> why would I make that? You made that, didn't you, Shindigs? No, I, yes, I made it. Tim, where did that come from? No, I made it. UHF. UHF made it. Thank you, UHF. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just great. Here, I'm going to show it on stream for everyone. That can't. That's Oh, 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 it's not, damn it, freaking, you can't, here, what if we inspect element, padding, top, 60 pixels, haha, -ha. yay for CSS. There we go, now you can see it on stream. All Why hail our coconut leaders. Just put it, put it over our um, Skype things down at the bottom there. <laughs> mm. No, because I'm just going to switch back to this other thing. Did that commercial never actually run? I have no idea. Dude. I don't think that commercial ever actually took off. Well, I certainly don't care. We're done. We're fine. We're back. Whatever. Yeah, that commercial totally never ran. Whatever, I don't care. So wow. we're here. Let's continue with the um, second half of this. All right. My turn, I think. Um, Fortunately. Yes, it's your turn. All right. The Parish <laughs> arrives. Who are they? Why have they chosen your community? And what for? Or, a small gang of marauders is making its way through the local terrain. How many are there? What weapons do they carry? All right, there's a small group of marauders. They'll be known as the zombie men. They, um, <laughs> and they are carrying, um, giant scimitars that they have to, like, hold up because they're, like, really big and they have to hold them with both hands like this. And basically, they just kill everything in sight immediately without any remorse. They're just okay. How many are there? Uh... Like, like, uh, let's say 120. 120 marauders. 120 marauders with giant scimitars, known as the zombie men. Okay. All right, draw it on the map, dude. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm just going to put them over here. Oh, so just to clarify this, was it the person who came up with the thing that's meant to draw it? Or can anyone just draw it while they're talking? So Whatever. They have, like, really long arms. I think it's usually the person who came up with it, but I don't think it's it matters important. It's like very important. Oh, okay. I thought it was like if you came up with it, 
you couldn't draw it and that someone else had to approve it by drawing it. No, 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 no. Okay. Rocket to Uranus, I, I can say Marauders appropriately. Marauders is a StarCraft joke. Anyways. It's an old StarCraft joke from way back in the day of, like, beta. StarCraft 2 beta. Anyways. Okay. So, I'm going to have a project. And this project is going to date back to the, uh, the Men in Armor. And our objective is to somehow convince the Men in Armor to fight the Marauders with their sharp pointy weapons which we have yet to identify and kill the Marauder, the zombie man because we fear for our lives so our mission is to convince them to fight for us so that's, how long is your project going to take? oh, it's going to take um, three weeks to convince them to fight for us Zombie men. Zombie men. Okay. Cool. Um, da, 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 da. My turn. A community become the community becomes with, obsessed with a single project. Which one? Why? Choose one. They decide to take more time to ensure that it's perfect. Add three weeks to the project. Add, they drop everything else to work on it. All other projects fail. Um. Hmm. Which project do we become obsessed with? We become obsessed with the talent show. And we decide to delay it for... To make it perfect, We're gonna. it's going to take another three weeks. So, it would have ended this week. It is now going to take three more weeks. Um, I would like to discover something new. Um, I would like to discover that after much prompting and looking at the computer terminal and watching the islands get closer it looks like the all the islands were made to fit together they are not just islands they are like puzzle pieces and they're getting closer still Um, and that is what I discover, and it, my turn is over. Kiwi. A natural disaster strikes the area. Choose one. You focus on getting everyone to safety, remove an abundance and all projects fail, or and a project fails, or you focus on protecting your supplies and hard work at any cost. Several people die as a result. Oh, there is no way we're giving up this talent show after we've put so much work into it. People are dying for this. <laughs> it's oh. a ridiculous game. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, you've gone a bit robot for me. I, I laughed, that's all. Mm -hmm. um, project discovery. Gilbert, stop making the things into penises. Dude! I'm not even doing it. I'm eating my pizza rolls. What the frick? Um, project discussion or discovery? Uh, discussion. What is your talent show act going to be? <laughs> Alright, so... My people... Well, like the people who are representing me, I guess... Are going to, um... Dance really, really well. And um, at the very end of the uh, the dancing, they're going to throw one of the children in the volcano. Dude, Gilbert, did you just draw a dick on the side? Of Fucking stop drawing penises, man. Um, my. <sighs> So my talent show act is we're going to get a group of people on stage and we're going to see who can shout the loudest and scream the loudest. 
and then the person who can scream the loudest is going to uh, be our new uh, children inspector. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but in order to make sure he is the right man for the job, he has to be the last one standing in the talent show. And everyone else has to just scream, uh, scream until they pass out. And this will obviously be the finale. A glorious 48-hour finale. <laughs> <sighs> Kiwi, what's your talent? All right. I so, it. so, um... My um my talent show piece is going to be reenacting the life in the history of the shitlords because they are a, a proud and noble people and it's going to be an interpretive dance, no words, no music, just dance, uh, portraying all that they went through. That of course results in the uh, dancers jumping into the volcano. Okay. Okay. My talent show is going uh, to be um, How much time do I have, Keeney? He says you failed. I failed? I didn't laugh. He said uh, I held it in so hard. Yeah, you You laughed. You like, I don't know. He said I, I you had one fucking breath. minute left. You failed, bro. Oh, I took a deep breath. What the fuck, Keeney? Um, no, actually, I did not mute my mic. At all, what? I was trying to dig deep breaths, but okay. For my talent show, my people will bury themselves in the ground. They'll like dig a hole, and then once they get inside of it, they'll bury themselves in the ground. We lack sanity, guys. <laughs> but that's what my people are doing. We're burying ourselves. <sighs> Sounds legit. Sounds legit. Um, oh my God, you not here? I literally uh, say. We're up to uh, Tim now, right? Hold on, uh, Gilbert, you said your zombie men would take two weeks, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is the end of my week. Uh, oh, no, no, it's... Some more people... It's... Yeah, it's Tim's turn. Uh, actually, no, 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 here we go. Th this is what's going on. Um, the zombie men finish. We we finished fighting the zombie men, or whatever. We, we... Well, no, what we were doing was convincing the people in armor to fight them right we'll discuss how that wraps up <laughs> all right so basically uh we successfully convinced them to fight and they went to fight and all 100 and what did i say 20 120 of the yeah 120 of the zombie men died but also 16 of the armored men died so there's only one left okay do you want to remove them from the map uh sure okay. i'll um, mess this up it is now Tim's turn. Tim, someone returns to the community. Who? Where are they? Or you find a body. Do people recognize who it is? What happened? Oops. Me? Sorry. Tim, pay attention. Okay, yes. Someone I returns am. to the community. Who? Where were they? Or you find a body. Do people recognize who it is? What happened? We find a body near the edge of the tip of the island, and it's been skinned. It's basically only a skeleton, but freshly skinned, so there's blood on the bones. And the only thing that we recognize is that this body is a skeleton is somehow wearing a coconut bikini. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> why did you do it, Tim? Tim, why would you do it? I didn't do Tim. it. It was the people Tim. across the island. Yes. Tim. And I want to discover something new, which is the volcano. We, we notice it's getting a little stanky. <laughs> we, we go to investigate 
<sighs> and we see all the lava is actually turning a bit brown and getting a bit stanky. Oh god. The end. Okay. <sighs> oh, don't use the eraser tool, use the delete tool, bro. Eraser tool actually just makes a white blob over other shit. Click and delete. What, select and then... Just highlight and delete. I can't highlight it though. Yes, you can. You can oh, carefully I, I, mouse I, I. over shit and delete it. Yeah. No. Trust me, I've been doing it all game. <laughs> I just moved the thing. <laughs> Why would you move the thing? Would you move? I didn't know. It. I'm trying to highlight it. Would I'll you move? move? The island. I it's moved fine. the entire it's island fine. down a little bit. It's fine. It's no big deal. Neil, I don't know. I'm, okay, I'm deleting the dudes. All right, I'm deleting the dudes. Thanks. Sweet. No Brenda. Um. Was there anything else we were doing, Tim? Or is that it for your turn? Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Okay. Cool. Um, it's my turn again. It is Gilbert's turn. Disease spreads through the community. Choose one. Do you spend the week, the week quarantining and treating the disease? Project Dice will not reduce this week, or nobody knows what to do about it. Add health and fertility as a scarcity. So I just pick a disease, I don't get an option? Do you get to pick whether we spend the week quarantining and treating the disease, or nobody knows what to do about it, and we add health and scarcity as an option? That's a oh, okay. uh, scarcity. Well, the disease, um, it's just going to be cholera, because, I don't know, I just thought of cholera first. Okay. And we're going to quarantine everybody by throwing them in the volcano. <laughs> everyone, we're throwing everyone in the volcano. I have to laugh. <laughs> We're killing all of our people. Just Iran who's sick. So <laughs> most of okay, so we throw all of the. Oh, the talent all show the ended. Infected with... <laughs> I'm sorry, the talent show ended on Tim's turn. I forgot all about it. Tim. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Yeah, let's backtrack for a moment. Tim, the talent show goes down. So, what was everyone's act? I want to. You have to remember. We don't tell you. You have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> so the first dance, the first act, the curtains remove, and they're playing on coconut bongos, and three people come out. And they dance a beautiful interpretive dance. It's called the history of the island. And it goes a little something like like this. And this. And this. And then and then they start run you know, dancing around in a circle. And people are so moved in the audience, they start crying. And they start crying, they start crying, they start crying so loud that their ears start bleeding, so they have to stop and move on to the next act because that it gets too silly. And the next the next act is a play called The History of the Shitlords. And it's actually such a moving play about how the Gilbertians were were once beautiful people until they were smeared in shit. And they became so horrified at their state of being covered in shit that when they looked in the mirror, they went absolutely insane. And people were so sad to hear the story about the shit lords that they they were they were so sad that they just started killing themselves. And we couldn't have that. So to make everyone forget about the sadness that we saw on the talent show, we went into the screaming contest. And the screaming went on for 48 hours until <laughs> one man remained and the man who had screamed successfully for 48 hours um, was assigned to be the new child inspector to forever scream at the children in the maize fields. What about my people that buried themselves underground? And my people who danced and threw people in the, in the volcano. They would dance. Okay, they bury themselves in the ground. 
Well, they were awakened by the screaming. Um, <laughs> and they, you know, their hands pop out of the ground and they like flourish like flowers on the ground um, in the maize fields. And people come to celebrate their uh, their their entrance and it is now tradition that once a year we bury people in the ground so that after a week of non-stop screaming they may emerge from the maize fields and bring us bouncy. Are you happy now, Neil? I'm happy about you. Are you happy about the screaming? No, I'm not happy about any of this. So was our scarcity of talent resolved? No. Yes. <laughs> yes, we no longer have a scarcity of talent. Yes. <laughs> All right. You also. Okay, Gilbert. Um, the disease comes. Cholera comes. We solve it by quarantining all the sick people in the volcano, you said? Yeah, by throwing them in the volcano. Okay. And do you want to... Uh, oh, go ahead. And then I get one of the three things. So we're going to we're gonna discover something. And what we're going to discover is as we're throwing all these people with cholera into the volcano, they actually walk out and they're perfectly fine, as far as we can tell. They, like, walk out of the lava and they're just, like, normal people again. Like, they're not sick. So then everybody starts jumping in, and everyone walks out like they're fully rejuvenated. And they're just like, peachy. Okay. Um, my turn. Oh, uh, yeah, my turn. Project finishes early. Which one? Why? If there are no projects underway, which there's not, restlessness creates animosity. Animosity leads to violence. Who gets hurt? Um, with no projects, the people don't have anything better to do other than to yell at the children. <laughs> and a couple of children get hurt um their feelings get hurt they they go into like a pouting crying <laughs> mommy yelled at me moment um which only drives us to enlist them as child soldiers in the war <laughs> which now has no purpose since bikini girl is dead you but, don't you know say what? that neil you don't say that about her don't talk about it <laughs> <laughs> people are still hurting Midasa hand, have fun with that. That sounds awesome. Um, <laughs> God, this is awful. And uh, I'd like to start a project to call back our soldiers from the war because there's no point in fighting anymore now that our person is gone. Whoa, but, but I think on their return... In memory of her honor, we should clad them all in coconut bikinis to honor our our fair maiden. Uh, and I think it will take six weeks to withdraw the troops from the island. No, four, four, three weeks to withdraw troops. And give them bikinis. Excellent. Um, that's the end of my turn. Kiwi's turn. The strongest among you dies who caused the death, or the weakest among you dies who is to blame for their death? And you're not allowed to kill player characters. Well, I mean, we're not technically people in the community. We are representative of the community itself. So what would, the two what would the two options give? The strongest among you dies, what caused the death, or the weakest among you dies, who's to blame for the death? I didn't even realize we'd now have child soldiers in bikinis. That, that thought didn't even cross my mind. Uh, the, the, strongest, the strongest among us die, uh, what we previously thought of jumping into the volcano and curing us, it didn't actually cure us, it just fucking killed us. <laughs> so the strongest among us died from that. Uh, we discovered something new this time around, was that volcanoes are not good for you. They, in fact, kill you. Good. Okay. Done with that. 
<laughs> Autumn. Someone leaves the community after issuing a dire warning. Who? What is the warning? Or someone issues a dire warning and the community leaps to action to avoid designing start uh, continuous projects that relates to it. Tim. Cool. Um, so if someone leaves the community with a dire warning and as he's leaving, um, tears tears in his eyes, but they're not tears that he's crying. It's shit. And he only says one word as he <laughs> looks upon the village and jumps off the cliff into the ocean. Wait, what word is it? I'm saying it right now. Shit god. <laughs> and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, and I'm start so a project or something. <clears throat> so glad we like sanity. Um, <clears throat> due to the warning, people find the need to throw our maze into the volcano, our stanky volcano, um, to appease what they are now calling the shit god. This will take two weeks to complete. This is really the shitty quiet year. <laughs> you can just rename this the shitty year. Okay, you said two weeks to do what? Um, to throw all our maze into the into the into the volcano. So that means our our guy has to yell at them. Okay, and one week to withdraw troops and give them bikinis now. Okay. <laughs> Done. Um, on to Gilbert's turn. Introduce a dark mystery among the members of the community, or conflict flares up among community members, and as a result, a project fails. Um, wait, what was the first one? Something dark. Introduce a dark mystery among members of the community. Okay, so dark mystery is the guy, the last armored dude, literally just kind of goes and vanishes. Like he's just talking, and all of a sudden, and um. They don't know where he went, so basically, we're trying to figure out where he went, and before, like, as we're discovering it, like, within minutes, another person just goes, and vanishes, and now, every single day at noon, someone vanishes from the town, just poof, into thin air, and then, okay, so that's the dark thing that's happening to the town, so, I'm gonna start a project, so, a while ago, we found footprints going up to the volcano it, when the uh, original, what was it, the child investigator guy vanished? Yeah. And we saw footprints going like up the mount, the volcano and down. So we're going to send a small party to investigate it. It's going to take four weeks and figure out where the, like, the trail leads. Investigate <clears throat> the trail. Okay, and at the end of the week, we have successfully withdrawn all of our troops. The child, child soldiers are continuing the war, but the adult troops have come back, and they are now dressed in coconut bikinis and return as heroes to the people. Um, our children are now fighting the war for us. No problem, um, yeah. <laughs> King of Spades, winter has come. The Frost Shepherds arrive. The game is over. Wow. No! Wow, the win? very first card of winter is the Frost Shepherds. Bullshit. <clears throat> yeah. GG, guys. GG. Oh, I feel very confused. Possibly more <laughs> so know. than when I started. <laughs> <laughs> I did. No idea what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> um, Tim, do you, how do you want to... Do you want to discuss anything relating to the game? I feel the Frost Shepherds were the soldiers who were hardened by the war. I don't know. The There was that warning that said the children must all be gone before the Frost Shepherds arrived or else we're all doomed, so... We never killed the children. We never killed the children. I think we should have killed the children. But they were all gone. They were all on the other island Not fighting. All the, I mean, we didn't send all the children to go fight our war, did we? I mean, we do lack sanity. We might have. I don't know. At least we got our talent back throughout the course. At least we got the talent. 
and we discovered volcanoes actually kill people. <laughs> and this is what happens, Gilbert, when you make everything about you. You become a shitlord. <laughs> that was. I made that one was, thing about me. You named two things after you. It was literally two. There was the, literally one. No, you the had Gil the Gilbertians, and then you had the zombie people. Yeah. The, the zombie people were just zombie people. Your name is Gil Zombie Gilbert. Zombie Gilbert. Yeah. Dude, there's a guy in chat named Zombie Guy. Don't even yeah, remember. just saying. It's named after that zombie. Why do you think the, the O is actually a zero? It's because it's named after Zombie Guy. All right. He's my zombie. Okay, guys, this was... <laughs> this was the quiet year. Let us never speak of this again. Yeah, this that's we're just done. We're we're just done with this. This is entertaining. Um Chat, we're currently at 642. And that means we owe four half hour to one hour uh, discussions with chat just bringing people into Skype and in what is it? At 750, we are doing we're doing the the reading of the the Breger Vincent slash fiction. Oh god! So uh, I'm going to kill the stream and bring it back up, so my camera will go back to OBS instead of Skype. And when we're done with that, we will do roll call. See you guys in a few moments. Peace out, guys. Take it easy. Bye.